Hi, this is Kamil, and if you are one of those people who have been trying to quit coffee for many years or you've been you've done it many times and you haven't succeeded, you have found the right video. Now it doesn't matter whether you drink this type of coffee, this type of coffee, soluble coffee, instant coffee, it doesn't matter. I will tell you the secret or missing, not secret, missing ingredient of why people do not quit addictions, including coffee, and not many people talk about this because not many people know about this, and, but I've done lots of research on, uh, in my life and, and I know from, uh, from the research of other people who have specialized this what that is, and I'm going to tell you now, I'm not, I'm, I might tell you a few tips, but really I'm not going to tell you any silly tips because there are lots of um, videos with tips on, on the internet, I'm sure, and they're probably all good, but they don't tell you this missing important ingredient. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to get something to write because I'm going to give you the seven exact steps. So, by the way, feel free to pause the video, rewind it anytime you want. Now, I'm going to ask you to do a few simple exercises, not very long, but it will take a few minutes. So, so get something to, to write and make sure that you've got some 10-15 uh, minutes now spare. 20 or, or would be much better. And uh, let's start. So. Before um, uh, I'll, I'll give you the seven steps, I'll quickly uh, give you a background information, something for you to think about so you can understand why those seven steps are so important. So the first question is, why do people drink coffee? And why do you drink coffee? You probably know, but I need to, I need to say, now let me put this away. Um, so people drink coffee for a few reasons. One reason might be because they want to have some Bus, they want to feel energized, especially in the morning. Yeah, we, we drink coffee, I drink coffee, you know, to, to, to help ourselves to get running. That's one reason. Another reason is for social reasons. You meet your friends, family, and you like to have coffee together. Um, uh, that's a good social, um, uh, that's a good reason for socializing. Third reason is for the taste. People really like the taste of coffee and I like the taste of coffee especially if I make it myself the way I like it and the right type of coffee and I'm sure you do as well. So these are three main reasons. Now why do people drink coffee? It's the question is why do people thinks, do things at all? Now the truth is human beings do things because they see a benefits in it and the benefits they see outweigh the drawbacks in it. And there is no single thing that you or me do um, without the, the benefits, without actually the benefits outweighing the drawbacks. Because there are benefits in everything and, dr and drawbacks in everything as well. So how does it work? If something is aligned with your top values, with your high priority values, you always do it, you always find time and energy to do it. If it's aligned with your lowest priorities, lowest values, uh, or, or values, uh, the, the, the bottom of your hierarchy of values, and you never find time and energy to do it. So if you drink coffee, it's because the benefits completely outweigh the drawbacks. And you might say, oh, no, 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 that's not true. I don't really want to drink coffee. I'm fed up with it. That's what I've been doing. But that's why you haven't actually quit coffee because you don't see the truth. And I'll help you discover the truth. So. Um, let's have a look at the steps. First of all, I want to ask you, why do you want to quit? Now, you obviously know why you want to quit, but if, you, if you're not sure, just make a list of uh, all the reasons you can think of why you want to quit coffee. That will help you. That will help you because you will see the drawbacks clearly. So, this is an optional step, but if you can do it, 10 or 20 reasons or drawbacks of drinking coffee, why you want to quit. Now, the the first and most important step is now finding the benefits. What benefits of drinking coffee have you got? Now, I mentioned those three, but you might have more benefits. Actually, you do have more benefits. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't have any problems uh, quitting coffee, you know. And uh, so uh, it might be maybe you are motivated to lose weight and you think that you actually will lose weight quicker by drinking coffee, which might be, uh, which might be true in, 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 in depending on your lifestyle and your body. Coffee, caffeine does help and burn fat, but if you do exercises, if you just drink coffee and don't do exercises, 
it's not really helping you. But anyway, let's say that the coffee helps you lose weight, yeah? So that's your benefit. There will be other benefits. I want you to make a list of at least 10 benefits of you drinking coffee and you need to really focus on it. I know sometimes it's difficult to get them, but it might be uh, that uh, consciously or subconsciously you want to impress someone or something um, uh, about you. Maybe it makes you feel that you, you feel like an important person. Maybe you want to belong to, uh, to, to a group of people and they drink coffee and you don't want them to see you as, as an outsider or, or there will be something and believe me, 10 is a minimum. If, if there, there were no 10 uh, benefits of drinking coffee, you wouldn't have any problems quitting it. So this is the first and most important step. This is where the whole journey begins. Until you identify all the benefits, you don't know your enemy, you don't know who you are fighting with. Therefore, you won't be able to quit drinking coffee. Is that an eye-opener for you? It might be. I hope it is. So let's continue and I'll give you the, the, the next steps. So let's say you have identified now your 10 or 20 benefits of drinking coffee. Well done. Big well done, my friend. Keep going. Now you need to give them up. Give those benefits up. Now this, this might be a bit difficult, but let's take step by step. Please choose one benefit that, that you would like to work on now. Let's say, I don't know, uh, it was help. Let's say it's, it's the social reason, you know, that helps you with socializing. So I'm gonna, going to ask you now, are you willing to give up that benefit? Are you ready to give up that benefit? If yes, are you giving up that benefit right now? I hope that was a strong yes. And if that was a strong yes, then it's very good. Now, what I want you to do, get this, this benefit somehow else, in some other way. So think how you can socialize with people, uh, or whatever that is in, in case your, of your benefit, how you can get the same thing doing something different. So if that was socializing, maybe you can socialize by drinking tea with people or orange juice. So they drink coffee, but you say, you, you know what guys, I'm actually gonna drink water or, or coffee uh, caffeine free first, or, or just orange juice. It doesn't matter. Just think what you can do, an alternative, yeah? Um, now that's the third step. The fourth step, find an alternative for coffee. And it can be, for you, it might be something simple. You will just stop drinking coffee and instead you will drink orange juice or water and that's it. But for some of you, it might be more difficult. So find an alternative. Maybe first start drinking caffeine-free coffee or something completely different. Uh, for example, um, barley-based uh, drinks. Now, I'm not saying that this one in particular is good, but any, any kind of barley-based uh, drink uh, might be a good one. You might not like the taste because it's not exactly as coffee, but it, with some uh, time you can get used to it. So find an alternative. Then, now this is another step which is quite important and I found it really, really beneficial and helping me really a lot in whatever I want to achieve. What I do, I visualize myself having achieved that goal and feeling great about this and, and noticing how great I feel about this. So whether I want to get a different body shape or just quit drinking coffee or something else, I imagine myself and I feel oh my god, this is so great, I got rid of it, I'm, I'm feeling great, you know, I don't need to drink coffee, I wake up in the morning, I'm already energized, I, I sorted all my life, you know, in a way that it's more balanced, so I don't need coffee anymore, I, don't, I eliminated stress and I feel so great, and I really feel that I visualize myself talking to people, telling them, look, I've stopped drinking coffee, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm free. Now, why this is important? It is important because that will affirm to you whether you really want to uh, quit drinking coffee or not because if you if you visualize that and you still and you're not feeling great it means that there is some kind of a lie so probably you haven't identified all those benefits or you don't really want to uh, give them up so then you need to go back to point one and so so that's a nice mechanism to check now second benefit of visualizing is that you will engage your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind will start giving you hunches will start giving you hunches. So the step number six is follow your hunches. You will suddenly have a hunch like, okay, watch this movie or, uh, I don't know, start eating this food or stop eating this food or start drinking that thing or 
walk uh, 10 minutes a day instead of uh, driving or, or something like this and it will be like something like obvious oh let me do this just do it just do it be happy and just do it and see um, how that helps you keep visualizing and and when you have a hunch you will know you might not notice but follow it anyway or, I mean what I mean you will notice it but you might not actually connect that this hunch is connected to your wish to quit drinking coffee so just follow all your hunches if you feel like doing something okay let me do it and see what happens so that's uh, step number uh, that was step number six now step number seven <laughs> this is something that helps people a lot quitting anything or, or taking a new challenge is sharing with with others tell other people so you can do two things either tell other people that you are quitting coffee and you've taken on the challenge to quit drinking coffee and and you want them to help you and support you uh, and you don't even need to tell them a lot just tell your friends colleagues and they will and if they see you drinking coffee they will ask you hey you said you were going to stop drinking coffee and that will give you more motivation to actually quit that coffee and the, th uh, the next thing you could do as part of that step seven is actually challenge others to quit drinking coffee with you. This is probably the best method you can do uh, because that forces uh, you like five times more with more power to actually do it. it if you haven't done anything like this with other people any challenge you, you might not understand but if you have you know what i'm talking about if you do it with three four people suddenly the power of a group is so immense that you just feel so motivated and inspired to to quit whatever that is or achieve that goal whatever the goal you set for yourself so so please uh, challenge others and these are the real seven steps that will help you quit coffee and there is no other magic secret about this no magic formula just give up the benefits identify the benefits give them up find some alternative ways um, of replacing those benefits find an alternatives uh, for coffee to help your body switch if you're heavily addicted uh, follow visualize follow your hunches and, and do it with other people. Seven, 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 how do I show seven? Uh, seven, yeah, like this, seven, seven uh, steps to uh, drinking coffee. Now, I, I'm sure you found it very useful and different to from, uh, from all other videos and all other advice and on, on YouTube and internet. So please like the video, subscribe and share it with others. And, and obviously, share your success stories with me. I want to hear from you uh, because I have my own challenges. I have uh, been quitting coffee by in the end. I've decided no, no, actually I want to drink coffee. I don't want to drink it. I just drink it in moderation. So uh, thank you for sharing your stories with me and sharing this video with all other people and, uh, and hope to see you in some other videos. Big thanks. Have an awesome day, awesome week and awesome, amazingly good life. Take care. Ciao.